Hello and uh, Tashidelik. My name is Shen Pen Kim Sar and I'm a Tibetan and I'm also a filmmaker and an artist and a human rights uh, activist for Tibet. Mm, I come before you today um, uh, with, with a heavy heart and, uh, and a lot of, um, lot of sadness and pain. Um, there is this uh, unfortunate misconstrued uh, video of His Holiness the Dalai Lama um, going viral uh, all over uh, all over the world and it started in India and unfortunately some people and some uh, media houses have uh, irresponsibly uh, made this video viral and made it sensational so I wanted to come before everybody with all due respect and with a lot of uh, sincerity in my heart. I come to you to um, explain what it what actually happened. We have to realize that we're not talking about some ordinary human being. You know, we also have to realize that we're we're not talking about some um, someone with a history of any sort of um, human, you know, uh, behaviors. We are talking about you know, His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama. You know, he is the longest living spiritual political leader in the world. He has been uh, fighting for uh, religious harmony. He has been fighting for peace in the world. He has been fighting for human rights with nonviolence and with compassion from 1949 onwards, right? He has been doing this since the time of Jawaharlal Nehru and President Nixon, and he is still doing it now. So you have to you have to consider the amount of experience His Holiness has politically, socially, until today. His Holiness has never uttered a single bad word towards the biggest perpetrator of his history of his nation, the Chinese government. His Holiness has never said one single bad thing about the Chinese government who has, uh, who has extensively, uh, you know, uh, created propagandas and spear, smear campaigns. So we're talking about a person, human being like that. And he is the most compassionate, childlike, innocent. There is a lot of purity. He is not tainted by the worldliness. He is not covered by... Uh, he's not influenced by the do's and the don'ts of this this toxic world that we have created today, where everybody is ready to be offended, where everybody is, you know, a keyboard warrior. You know, there is so much propaganda and we have to realize that His Holiness is the only spiritual leader that has talked about the religious harmony and is talking to the Muslims and the Hindus and the Christians and the Jews and the non-believers. He is also the only spiritual leader who is contributing and who has contributed so much to science. You know, he has contributed to so much of mental health, education. He is the only person and the only spiritual leader who has propagated and advocated the importance of educating the heart, you know? And then this whole tongue thing, I am a Tibetan. This whole tongue thing is a very cultural thing. As, as Tibetans, we come from a very humble background and a humble culture. So historically, there are reasons why, you know, the tongue was, you know, was shown. But I know my grandfathers, my grandparents, up until my, my grandmother and all, I remember uh, in that generation, everybody used to show tongue when people greet. One is out of respect. Uh, one is also kind of symbolically saying that I don't have poison in my tongue. You know, it's a very metaphoric thing. And the other thing is it's also out of shyness. You know, whenever we're shy or whenever we're playful, or, you know, we Tibetans used to show their tongue. If you watch Seven Years in Tibet, there is a lot of that. There is an article of, uh, from Los Angeles Times from 1997, why the Tibetans show their tongue. So you also have to realize that His Holiness is also a veteran and uh, an experienced public speaker and an experienced uh, uh, public, you know, uh, personality. So when when we know that he is in in the in front of 
uh, a live audience in front of so many cameras and media and he has everybody there and also security for example he's all his holiness the dalai lama is not an ordinary human being so there is intense security for him but because there was this young boy who wanted to hug him his holiness and his security team his security detail made sure that you know the kid was allowed because his holiness exhibits and symbolizes compassion and kindness to him he always says we seven billion human brothers and sisters so to him it was you know it was uh, it was important to hug that child and be playful so he's an 87 year old man so there was a grandfatherly kind of treatment and then he also wanted to act like a kid and we have to remember his holiness uh, does not speak english as well as tibetan because English is not his first language. So uh, what he says, you know, is, is not uh, intentional. His Holiness does not even have a personal bank account. He does not even have any properties. He does not have anything. He's always giving. Uh, we, are, we are evident. We are live proof of what he has done for the Tibetan community and for the world. The amount of peace he has given to the world, you know, the amount of love he has given to India and to and to preserve the Indian ancient culture from the Nalanda tradition. There is so much people are not aware of and everybody is ready to jump on the bandwagon. And we have to also understand <clears throat> the biggest problem for India and America right now, economically, you know, politically is the China, is the Chinese government. So the Chinese government, when they when they get a small opportunity to to uh, you know to smear him and to uh, defame his holiness because the chinese government is not afraid of anybody else but the chinese government is afraid of this simple monk who has no weapons who has nothing but he's afraid because his simple monk the dalai lama is not a human being only he is a mindset he is an ideology you know so they they want to get rid of that ideology and that mindset and that whole entire institution so any opportunity they get, they will spend money, they will, do, they will have propagandas, they will do whatever it takes to, to create this. But that's not going to happen because we also know historically throughout history in any culture, love has always had to face hate. Light has always had to face darkness. But eventually the truth, love and light will always prevail. And His Holiness is innocent like a child in this case. And he had no mal in intentions. And we Tibetans from all over the world, we stand with him. We will defend him and we will speak and we will do whatever it takes to make sure his name is not tarnished. And to everybody that is taking advantage of this and, and using it for their own personal gains, you know, honestly, it is very, very sad and tragic that you have to resort to such low level tactics. So please, my dear brothers and sisters, you know, everything is so s sensationalized. So please make sure you educate yourself, you understand and use a mind, use your own mind, be rational. And then please help spread this video and help have a positive conversation. I say that we in this world today, we need more human beings, more people like the Dalai Lama, not like these keyboard warriors who are spreading hate. So I thank you for listening and, and I speak with a lot of love and I hope uh, this has not offended anyone. And uh, you know, His Holiness is innocent. His Holiness is very loved and respected and he will always be. Thank you very much.